With Picasa, there are several ways to organize and identify photos within your library. You can choose to arrange your pictures in albums or simply manage them according to the folders they are in on your computer. Another option is to apply tags to individual images that refer to who is in the picture, where the picture was taken, or other keywords that will help you locate the photo in the future. You have three photos that you would like to easily identify in Picasa. You will use tags, the facial recognition feature, and identify a location by applying a geotag to these images. Let's begin by tagging the image of the dog so that we can easily find it in the future. To begin, we'll need to select the image. Picasa has four panels that provide special controls for photos. They are people, places, tags, and properties. Each panel has a corresponding button in the lower right of the screen. To open the panel we need right now, we'll use the tags button. That's the second one from the right. With the Tags panel open, we can see it's blank because we've never added a tag before. Our insertion point is in the text box at the top, so let's go ahead and add our first tag. Our tag is now listed beneath the text box. Picasa has also created a quick tag based on our entry. Quick tags allow you to apply the tags you use most often with a single click. We can set these ourselves by clicking one of the other nine configure quick tag buttons, or we can let Picasa continue to predict them for us. Let's leave this as it is and test the Picasa search feature by looking for photos tagged with pets. We'll need to move up to the search bar before we type. See how Picasa found the photo? This is the only photo we have of pets so far, but as we continue to add more, we can always pull them up by searching for the tag. Next, let's try tagging some people in our photos. We can return to viewing all of our pictures by clicking the green button that appeared. To quickly identify people who often appear in your photo library, you can use the facial recognition feature. The very first time you open Picasa, it will begin searching all of your photos for recurring faces and give you the opportunity to tag them. You can also do this with individual photos by adding name tags. Let's give that a try now with the image of the couple. As with tagging, there is a special panel for Picasa's facial recognition feature. To access it, we'll use the People button, the button showing a silhouette of a person. The People panel opened and shows thumbnails of the two faces in the photo. Picasa was able to pick the faces out of the picture with no help from us. Pretty neat, isn't it? Now we can type their names and Picasa will remember this information and apply it to other photos in the future. If we were logged into our Google account, Picasa would search our Gmail contacts as we type and look for matches. Since we are not logged in, however, let's go ahead and add a contact now. The People window opened. This is where we can enter information about the person we just tagged and save the name tag for future use. To add this person, we'll click the New Person button to tell Picasa more about her. Picasa automatically copied her name and assumed it is also her nickname. From here, we can edit these text fields, add an email address, and choose whether or not we'd like this person to be synced with our contacts in Gmail. For now, let's just leave this basic information and return to the photo. Next to Charlotte's face, we see her name tag, and if we add more photos of her, Picasa will give them this tag. Let's move on to geotag a photo so we can indicate the location an image was taken. We'll use the image of the fountain because we know where it's located. To close the People panel and open the Places panel, we can click the Places button. This is the one with the red marker on it, right beside the People button. This fountain is in Savannah, Georgia. 
To find that location on the map, we can simply type it into the search text box. If there is an exact address associated with your location, you can use that. City and place names will also work for pinpointing a location on the map. Savannah is a well-known city in Georgia, so we should be able to type it alone and find the right place. Savannah is now visible on the map, and we have the option to place our photo here. We could fine-tune this selection by choosing a different location on the map or searching for another address. Because this location is fine, let's place our photo here. Great! We can tell our geotag was applied because the small red marker appeared in the lower right corner of the image. By tagging photos, adding name tags, and putting them on the map with geotags, we can organize our photos simply and efficiently.